Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Hogwarts Legacy. Where we left off last time, we were just finishing up, well we just finished up Lodgok's quest, he did die to his brother Ranrock. And we are now back at school, actually we got a couple side quests we need to do. First of all we have a Summoner's Court match 5 to deal with, and then we have a couple of side quests that popped up. Namely, we have In the Shadow of the Relic, so we need to talk to Ominous at the Catacomb, um, or the Catacomb, as it were, and then we have to talk to San Bakir for his trial at the Map Chamber at some point in time. We'll do the Relic one first, obviously, after we do the Summoner's Court thing. I think this is the final Summoner's Court thing. And of course, the final challenger is our teacher himself. You're my summoner's court opponent, Professor Ronan. Indeed I am. <laughs> Professors are allowed to have fun once in a while too, you know. I suppose so. Surely you have better things to do. Shouldn't you be preparing for your next class or helping a student? I can manage to do both work and play. And who's to say I'm not helping a student at this very moment? I've been playing this for eons, so you haven't the chance of winning. How about we get started anyway? Very well. I'm ready. No time like the present. There is a possibility I lose this. He's going first. Interesting. Akio! Well, that's an unfortunate turn of events for us, but okay. Akio! Oh no. Oh no. That's actually really bad. It. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Okay, so we flubbed with that one. It's still technically possible to win, it's just not very likely. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio! So he's at 170 or so. We all make mistakes. He's at... Okay, so we need a 100 to win. It is possible, maybe... I can't go any further to the side, so let's see what happens. No, it's going to bounce straight off of that thing. Yeah. Can't restart from here. We have to do it again. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Not to worry. You're still finding your stride. Well, we'll try again. Yes, I know he won. Thank you. Thank you, game. Uh, not to worry. I haven't been beaten by a student yet. Care to go another round? Yes. I would. I'd like a chance to improve my record. Excellent. Okay. So we did this first hundred, which we screwed up pretty badly. Akio! I feel it's unfair his goes extremely slowly and ours goes very fast. Akio. There we go. That was better this time. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio. I think he always gets 170 points. Or 160 points or whatever it is. So if we get 200, we definitely win, I think. That's what I thought. Way too low. And there you have it. Yet another opportunity to learn and improve. Ah, it's just screwing up all over the place here. Although... That was interesting. We all make mistakes. Wait, did he knock mine off and now I lost points? 
Aqui, ó. Still wins by ten. Yet another oh. opportunity to learn and improve. <laughs> fair enough. You know what? That was a fair win on his part. If we hadn't lost ours at the end there and knocked his straight off, we would have been okay. And not to worry. I didn't realize knocking them I off actually been caused by a people to lose yet. points. Care to go another round? Yes, let's do it one more time. I would. I'd like a chance to improve my rank. Excellent. We could just skip. There we go. All right. What are the court rules? So, oh. so it's just like curling, basically. I do not recall teaching you how to play like that. Akio. That's better. Well now, nicely played. Akio. Let's see if he knocks ours right off. Perfect. All right, we win this time. We all make mistakes. Just gonna go right here. Akio. That's no way to treat a professor. Delightful to see such mastery from one your age. Wasn't much of a mastery, so it took us three attempts. But we did do it, and that's all that matters. Well done. You've beaten me at my own game. I'm a natural. I suppose there's not much left you can teach me now. <laughs> One always has something to learn. You see, I just taught you something. As the new Summoner's Court champion, you have earned a token of recognition. Do not let it go to your head. What did we get for that? We got Summoner's Court Match 5 and we got some Champion Gloves. That was another side quest completed. Something just popped up. No, it's experience. We're at 39. We're about a third of the way through 39, give or take. Let's go to the world map and let's go to the Catacombs, which are way down here. In Feldspar. Not Feldspar. What town is this? Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Is it Feldspar? Feldcroft. That's the one. All right, Sebastian everyone's... has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You did what you had to do, and I agreed. It might well have salvaged my friendship with Sebastian for the moment. I did what I had to do. You did agree, and it did save your friendship with Sebastian. For the moment. I thought we'd gone too far before, but Sebastian is in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Right, we're Sebastian going in. must not be in his right mind. I think this is where we get my favorite spell of all time. Defeat the Inferi is our goal. Here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Where was Sebastian when you and Am found him? Just ahead, in the great room. Confringo! 
Gonna casually kill all these things. Get a bunch of stench of the dead for no reason. Don't really think we need them for anything. At the moment, let's just continue onwards down to the great room. There weren't this many in theory before. Well, now there are. Oh, that was terrible. Can we kill an Imperi with the Ninja Magic? I think we can. Right? Oh yeah. Just exploded. It'd be really nice if he... If he uh, oh, there we go. He did Confringo 1. I was like, it'd be really nice if he could do some fire spells too. And he did, just as I said that. How nice of him. That one I can't kill yet. Just pick up all of this while we wait. Hold on a moment. I was so worried about Sebastian I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. Well, that's way worse. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi? And Sebastian somehow created them? Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them... As Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the Headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Oh, there's way more in theory down here. That, however, was an amazing shot, and we did got we got most of them on player. Where did that one come from? All right, let's go this way. It is the most giant of the rooms. Theory seems far from control. There's nothing in there. This is gonna be terrible. We're gonna get hit on the way out. Okay, it's all dead. This is clearly not the right way. Let's move on to a different way. Maybe that way. Nope, not this way. Just gonna ignore that one. And instead we'll go down this way. This looks like a good way to go. Yep, there he is, up there. Unfortunately, I think we have to get some bone things going here. Um, it's not letting me move it. There we go. There's one. And. Don't know where to put these ones yet. It's really not letting me move these things very far. You know what? I don't think we need them. We definitely need them. Okay. There we go. We weren't allowed yes, to climb up until we did this. Isn't this incredible? It is pretty impressive, I gotta say. Sebastian, I told you, the relic is the answer. 
I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it, just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! The Relic! You'll pay for this! Oh dear. Ow. That relic was going to save Akio. Also, <laughs> Just a horrible thing to have done. Just destroying this kid's poor uncle. And then we can use things like... I think that's the most horrifying one, just slamming him into the ground over and over again. He is hitting us way too hard. That was the wrong person. There we go. Fight completed. She cannot be healed, Sebastian. You must stop. Uh, I won't let her suffer. Avada Kedavra! Kills his own uncle in cold blood. Have you done? I mean, of all the people to be asking that question, maybe he should be asking himself what he's done. I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Sebastian, wait! Stop, Sebastian. Hold on. One sec, sorry.
He has gone outside. Successfully escaped, which is really all any of us can hope for in life, I guess. But now we get to learn a really what good spell. Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us, not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... Everyone should know that curse. He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I knew you'd understand. I did do the right thing. You did. I would have done the same. If I knew how. I could teach you. Yes. Yes, please. No time like the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Hold your wand steady. Focus. The incantation is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. I'm going to learn a spell for a while. And now we have the I most powerful spell in the game. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian. Please, I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? All right, we now have a great spell. So we're going to put it on one of our bars. Probably that one. I don't think we need Lumos too often anymore. But... I wonder if I'm safe to explore. In there. We do have a talent point to throw into that as well. Dark Arts. And it's the one where killing an enemy with a Vodka Driver kills all cursed enemies, which is extraordinarily powerful. I'm not really sure to put our last couple points into, to be honest. Maybe. I don't know. The Pulso Mastery. Sure, why not? We use that occasionally. But let's go use our killing curse on something. Let's go find a troll. It's probably the best thing to sort of highlight the power of this spell. It's something as powerful as a troll that we're going to kill in a single hit. If this troll's still alive. Don't think the armored troll's here right now, is he? No, but there might be another troll over here somewhere. Possibly Hello? over at this camp? Maybe? No trolls over here. There is like another mini camp around here somewhere. Look over there. There's a troll shack thing on the beach there. Yep, there's a troll. Perfect. And we're just gonna target it and instantly dead. Now, Avada Kedavra does take quite a while to re build its capabilities. It's not like you can spam it and kill everything in the game, but that ability right there is so good. It's definitely one of the funnest spells to play around with. Anyways, if we take a look at our challenges, we are now 99% done combat. We were that before, but we're so close. Now we need five more trolls and we need to finish some more quests. So we just need six more side quests and three more main story quests, and then we're all done. We could do the statue places now, I suppose. It is something we could do. Also, actually, 
doing the statue place might be better than going and hunting trolls in the wilderness because trolls do spawn in that dungeon uh, which is down here if I'm not mistaken we go to the battle arena we can go to that now I think we have a little bit of time left because I don't think that quest took very long did it Took a bit of time, but not much. Let's go do a fight. Gotta fly through the trees. Alright, we're gonna activate the statue and do the fight. Oh, I think we have to break all these things again. Rebellion. Maybe we never did it. Bombarder. If Rebellion. Five more to go. Two more to go. Rebellion. Last one. Now the statue opens its arms. It's now ready for a battle. Ready for some that's arena it. time. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Technically that's the end of the quest, so we could just turn it in. But we're gonna go into the battle arena and do a fight. Started honestly, but all right. now we just kind of hope that comes back for later on. It is an annoying first enemy, honestly. It might be based on your level. Seven enemies. That one's still just standing there, creepily. Our Avada Kedavra is about half back. The Doug Bog was just like standing there, he's like, uh, hi. I'm just going to start building up our ancient meter as well. That did not kill him. He was not in the right place for that. Okay, that's where he's dead. Uh, this is a bad place to be. Get rid of one of them. I know we can easily kill both of them right now with a uh, robotic cadaver, but you don't really want to use those for anything but trolls for the most part. That's it. Go pick up some ancient magic a little bit. Wave four. I don't actually know how many waves there are. I can't remember. That sounds like a troll. Oh, that's a bad. We're gonna die. Yeah, a troll dead. Five out of seven dead. Six out of seven dead. Last one is there. What's next? Ugh. Shame you're so foul. Final wave. 
That is actually pretty unfortunate. There's two armored trolls. Probably just kill one of them straight up. This ancient magic. There's a ranger up there. Shit, I almost died there. I need to get out of this corner. I'm getting hit really hard. And there's many, many more enemies on the field now. But we also have a lot of cadavers, so... Just trying to get away from the troll. Dueling? There's like 19 people in this place. Killing that one. one and we're gonna kill the other ones we have lots of ninja magic all right one guy left alive he's a commander it was actually pretty hard to kill him I do think I'm clever actually bloods on Ranrock's hands and that was it. We successfully completed that particular little dungeon. We can go turn in the quest, and we might as well get the experience. And I think we're extremely close to being done all our trolls now. I think that might have been... We have one left, I think? Yep, one troll. And then we're 100% on that, which is very exciting. Get that done. Don't ever have to kill trolls again if we don't need to. In fact, we don't have to fight anything again unless we have to. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Gonna go ahead and land right here. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. It oh, was. Really? Well, it wasn't much of a puzzle to be How honest. How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional? Indeed. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right Quest about that Quest completed, statue. we got a beige column wand thing, and we have now only five I side quests left. We're so very close to the end. If we look at quests, in fact, we now have to meet Sebastian in the Undercroft. We... Actually, we can do that right now. Try and get a little bit more done. See if we can finish up his little side quest situation. I wonder if this will count as a side quest. Maybe. Kind of nice if it did. Then we'd be down to four. Why do I need to talk to you? Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? Did you attend Hogwarts? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. 
I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realised that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. How fascinating. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. That Keep was pretty up with cool. your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay, well, that was neat. Let's go talk to Sebastian. He's just down here. We cannot jump across the staircase. That's okay. Into the Undercroft we go. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in? Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Very well, I'll talk to him. Why not? Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. All right, Ominous. Let's talk about this. Ominous? What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Yeah, we should turn him in. Why not? We don't have a choice. You're right. You were right the entire time. I wish I hadn't been. If we do this, we may never see Sebastian again. Sucks to be him. Well, no, I've changed my mind. You know what? Let's not turn him in. Let's just let him do whatever he wants. The more That's what I we're think doing. about it, what good will it do to turn him in? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this That's again. That's not the reasoning We've I would use, but fair enough. That before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Are we going to have to kill Sebastian at some point? That would be kind of an interesting twist. I don't think so, but you never know. Is this quest now completed? 
he wondered. Oh, Sebastian's literally right there. That's awkward. <laughs> Alright, so quest-wise, we are now down to just talking to the keepers. Let me do a quick map check. Yep, that's really all we have left. So, that's what we're going to do next time, I think. I might go find one more troll just to finish that thing up in between videos. But for now, I'll leave you all here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.